Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to In The Streets with Big Stone. Today is a very important day, today is a very sad day, and today is a very significant day for me and, my, my, and for my friend Bob Rose. I'm going to talk to Bob Rose, a friend that I've had well over 30 years. We practically grew up in the streets of America. I just want to speak with him as a conscientious Jamaican, just like myself, and speak about an incident that we have no known facts about. What we, are, we have learned about this particular case is the fact that it happened, some people got shot, there was a fatality, and also, uh, I don't know, people are seeing industries that mistaken identity. We have not heard that from none of the, 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 the television broadcasts, but word has been in the streets that it's a mistaken identity. So I'm going to talk to my friend Bob, and we're going to share views as to how we see this. Because when we have loss of lives, when we have innocent civilians losing life, when we have criminals losing life, we both look at a life as a very important thing. So when we have lost a life, it doesn't matter if it's from one side or the other. Some mother or father have lost a gunman's son. Some mother or father have lost a little girl that is so beautiful. So, so people still hurt, we have people still crying, we have people still feeling moved, whether it's from one or the other. So we're not here to take side one way or the other, but we're here to speak about the truth though. Bob, welcome. Boy, I know I shouldn't be talking to you now in a situation like this because we shouldn't be talking about fun memories of how we used to party in the United States and so. But a car, a blue Suzuki car, was shot up by the police, so the news says. And um, we have heard of beautiful little children getting shot in the crossfire. How do you feel about it, first of all? Are you aware of, of that incident? You heard it on the news? Yes, I heard this matter on the news. And from what I've heard is that it was an incident whereby this car was seen by somebody that forwarded this information to the police and it was being pursued. At the same time, I think, based on my opinion, things could have been dealt with more, in a more delicate fashion. Since the amount of people that was in the same car is not the same amount that was suggested that was at the scene of the, where, the, where the crime was committed. Okay, so what you're saying then, the person who forwarded this information to the police right gave them a description fitting the blue suzuki car quite so but the amount that they gave was was More. not the amount that was in the car after it was shot up is quite. that what you're saying now what i'm saying is mm -hmm. based upon the complaint and the information on which the police was working on mm -hmm. these people that was in the same car could have been dealt with otherwise by using a backup police system mm -hmm. This way, it could have been dealt with in a more delicate fashion to preserve and protect lives, innocent yeah. lives, that could have been in the same vehicle, whether or not mm -hmm. other people that participate in the criminal hack that had led to this matter was present or otherwise. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Uh, so, let me try this. Make uh, in other words, then, let me ask you a question then. Was it ever reported that shots were fired? Was it ever reported that there was... Because I don't know the facts of the case. I'm just asking because just to imagine a car with children traveling and then all of a sudden law enforcement officers that was given duties to serve and protect life and property would just fire on a car load of children. I want to know the circumstances. Well, based on the information case. that I heard, mm -hmm. I heard it on the news. Nobody has at any time had mentioned that there was any act of violence at the scene of where the crime was committed. It was, I think it was a breaking and entering okay. matter, a burglary, something of similar nature. Mm -hmm. And it does not amount to a state where a life was being taken as to suggest that whoever did commit that crime was dangerous. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in under those circumstances, the police 
proceed cautiously. But personal opinion, it things could have been done otherwise. We are talking my to opinion. my friend for well over 30 years, FM Rose, Bob Rose, I call him. And um, we're speaking about an incident that happened a couple of days ago involving the police and um, youngsters from the Greenwich Farm area. It's a sad situation, like I say once again, but not just this situation in the Greenwich Farm area, but other incidents that, are, that has been happening. And, uh, I think if you look up the statistic, uh, police shooting has gone up a lot. And um, civilian lives have gone up a lot too. If you look at it, well over 100 and something civilians got murdered other by the police. But in, in, in any case scenario, lives have been lost. And as a Jamaican, as a patriotic Jamaican, and I can say that fully because I gave up my rights to live in the United States. I walk away from my green card to live in this beautiful country we named Jamaica. So I love that country to the depths of my heart. Right. So whenever there's any form of violence, one way or the other, it grieves me to know that it can come to this right. when we have to pick up a gun and just take the lives of people. Our lives are important. I love my life to the bottom of my heart. And not until we start to love our lives, each one, whether you're a gunman, whether you're a Christian, whether you're, I don't care because I'll pass the toting gun in this country. Well, if you want to seriously start to, 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 to see this country come back together, we have to start going to it and love one another some more. And think about each other, whether you're a law enforcement officer, think about the people that you're sworn to protect. And also the citizens, thinking about the dangerous job that some of these police officers are faced with on a day-by-day -day basis. It is not easy to be shot at last week, the week before, see a comrade passed away and then face a gunman, even though he has been firing at you, drop the gun and say, officer, don't kill me. Look at those scenarios. It's a tough scenario. We would only hope that the training that the police officer received, and I know that the, the Jamaica Constabulary Force is doing a tremendous job in trying to get the mindset of an officer into it, because it's a very dangerous job. People are dying, policemen are losing their life. It's hurtful for a wife who marry into her, her husband as a police officer and he's working, doing his line of duty, and bam, he's killed. So people, people are suffering on both sides. Suffering, suffering is all. Jamaica, we it's, start to it, celebrate it, 50 It's really out of frustration. It's out, it's out of frustration, you think? Right now, it's out of frustration. We are, there's a lack of jobs, employment, mm -hmm. as also financial depletion. Okay, the, the money is not circulating. No, Everybody now eat a food no, like and, it should. And, and, and it gets frustrating that people are more angry at each other than showing love. I support that 100%. Really? I think that if everybody had a little bit, yes, most of these people don't need a whole lot in a bar. So. I don't need a whole lot to go through a day. I don't need a whole lot, but when you have nothing, when there's nothing out there for you, you know, and, and we're not talking politics one way or the other. Right? I'm a humanitarian. We are Jamaicans. We are talking about our country because this belongs to me just as much as it belongs to you. And I'm telling you, people gravitate to this beautiful island so much that you would never imagine. When you go overseas, I've had the opportunity to be into many different countries, to Brazil, to Colombia, to Guyana. Guyana loves Jamaica like, like Jamaicans are gods. Only a few Caribbean countries like maybe Barbados, I know, is having a little problem. Because, you know, my big storm out and a film, we thought the things that are true. But our country is so fantastic and so beautiful that we don't want all this ire to stop. Exactly. You know what I mean, Bob? For real, for real. We want this to stop, Rasta. I'm a big mama Porsche. Mama, big stone appeal to you. Let go the dance, them. Yeah. Make some more livelihood go on in a Jamaica because if you cut back down on the dance, people are getting an opportunity they are too locked in to go out and in. party yes. their frustration away. Exactly. Then when they are battled up, Mama Portia, you know what is going to happen? It is a serious thing. Free up the dance. Yeah, Let the people them enjoy themselves. As long as they respect the police, they make sure they keep it in a nice area. They don't go overboard with the mic and the and loud and the, and comply, the nasty music that they do. Com comply with comply the rules and regulations. Yes, but let right. her dance them. Make people dance and have fun. Uh, exactly. That's because that's if young men have nothing to do, come 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, like they have been locked there. in. It's like they they're locked in. They feel like they're prisoners. Simple. Yeah. So free up reggae music because reggae music is what put Jamaica on top. 
serious thing, real talk. Bob Rose, we are talking to my friend uh, from New York City. It's a very beautiful uh, overcast day in a Jamaica, our country. I am a feel good for their yard. For real, for real. Yeah, can no way. No better than you are. Big Stone can tell you that from the depths of my heart. I have been, I have not been here for an over a lifetime. But because of Bob, oh, 30 years, brethren? Circumstances are the cases. cases. Okay, okay, but okay. In regard to those circumstances. Right. Being here. What do you see? What like, do you see? No, I have learned to accept where I am from more. Because not having no knowledge of other areas, then you think you might be doing bad. But when you can't get a mango without yeah. a, a major cost, or maybe for nothing, then you can say that this is the land of a free. Yeah, man, a Jamaican this man, our oh, country this. Because there's no other place that you can go to a man and say, well, I will point finger at the United States itself. Yeah. You could never go to a man and say, give me a mango, especially you're not referring to a common mango. Like a East, you can't, a East Indian East mango. India. There's nobody can say, give me a bunch of guinea. You would have to go to the farmer's market where it was, it was being bought from the said country and the price is being tripled from what you would have paid and for. And you couldn't it. afford it. And it's not affordable. Yeah, that's what he's saying. So what I'm trying to say, we have to learn to appreciate Jamaica because there's nowhere better than yard. <laughs> no way! So, Yo, I'm not busy with nobody who wants to say, Big Stone, now nah, left here, sir. You hear me tell you, I'm nah, not left here. Firestone from Firestone Video Production. No, it's a big stone not leaving here. See? Ladies and gentlemen, I feel good to be a Jamaican. 120 million percent to be a Jamaican living in my own country. But it kind of hurt me when I see um, the crime rate going up and, and innocent lives are being lost. You know, um, it bothers me. And it really bothers me to the core of my heart. I wish I could right every wrong i wish i could i wish i could go out there and and speak to any youth that probably might think of going into a life of crime i've done that many times i enjoy doing that right um, um to go out into the communities and meet some of the youth them and find out what's going on in their head what can what can i do for you you know john f kennedy said ask me what your country can do for you but what you can do for your country so i and i is willing to go out there in the community to them and i would only hope corporate jamaica giant force with big stone may i tell you because we have the remedy we have the solution to help free up some of them youth your mind trust me the youth them need mental stimulation right now the youth in jamaica need moral stimulation and first more and foremost they need spiritual stimulation because the almighty god says love all man no matter what color creed cultural background area race it doesn't matter every one of we a human being bob rose we're gonna celebrate 50 year anniversary yes, you ready for it every time every time right now we're ready to go where to go any plans because he operates a business where you operate your business right now i'm operating a business It is my intention to unite the whole, the, the whole um, let me plant, community, the community. Whole community. And because there's a little tug of war, because maybe it is too cluster, but I'm showing them, try to teach them that use all available facilities and appreciate what they got, and we can bring the whole city right where we are. Yeah. Good words coming out from my friend Bob Rose. But in parting, I just want to look in the camera. I want to speak to the entire Jamaica. And maybe the Almighty give I and I this message to reach out to you, every Jamaican. Jamaica is a beautiful country. Please, every Jamaican, just take a look at what you have around you. The freedom that you have to move from one place to another. People are dying as we speak because they're not able to move from one place to another. We have this opportunity in this beautiful country. We were not born into shackles and chains even though some of us mentally are still shackled. Let us love one another. Let us move with one another. Let us groove with one another. We was a Jamaica, our country. We could start the killing one way or the other. Less the killing for the police, less the killing for the gunmen. Now beg the eye of the master. Less the killing. It look bad for the country. When you see in Walter try to make the country look big and bossy. When I saw for Paul, I made the country look big and bossy. See, Bob Marley did the work that he did. Great work, Peter Touch, Bunny Wheeler, all the great eye, Beris Ammon. See, 
Butcher Banton, all the items that did great work, Caperton, Sisla Kalanji, my friend Sisla that did magnificent work for our country to rise up, make a rise up as a nation of people. We're going to be 50 years come the 6th of August. We could love one another. We could cherish one another. We could party amongst one another. I'm on my portion, may I beg you. Turn up the thing and make the music play. Give the people the music. Because when people have music that and it hits, fire. yeah, man, you don't feel no fire. pain. Really? Big Stone, so we love you. Firestone Production say over and out because Jamaica are our thing, are our country, are our place, are our time. Shout!